I am Mahreen Khan and I'm doing a PhD at MIT Sloan. Prior to starting the PhD, I worked as a policy advisor with the Dutch government in Bangladesh between 2013 and 15. During the course of my work, I interacted with many stakeholders working on occupational safety and health issues at the workplace and workers' rights, particularly in the Bangladeshi textile sector. Amongst the stakeholders was Ms. Nazma Akhtar, a prominent member of the Bangladesh labor movement. In a sector that is largely dominated by men, she stands out as the country's most respected and influential female labor leader. She began her working life at the tender age of 11 in a small garment factory in Dhaka. As she grew older, she started to speak out against the injustices at the workplace. For this, she often faced brutality from thugs hired by the factory managers and even the police. She eventually left the workforce and went on to starting the Awaj Foundation with some other co-workers. Awaj Foundation is an organization which fights for workers' rights and helps settle worker disputes in factories. The organization has been active in mediating numerous activities on wages, overtime, holidays, and maternity leave in factories. Despite the hardships of working in the garment sector, Ms. Akhtar is not against garment factories, which she believes empower women by giving them greater choice and opportunity. However, she is resolutely against exploitative and dangerous working practices and strives to ensure that women get treated fairly. I had the opportunity to speak with her in Bangladesh in January 2016 on a number of current issues facing the Bangladesh labor movement. As a worker in Bangladesh, Ms. Akhtar is vocal on the subject of the exploitation of cheap labor by the first world companies and eloquently puts forth the conflict between the vested interest groups and the Bangladeshi workers in the factories. Thank you to MIT to give me the opportunity. As you know, the most of the production country were producing the garments goods. The buyers and multinational and fashion retailers, they are coming to our country because of the cheap labor, especially the Bangladesh is the cheapest all over the world. So that means the globally people are addressing us, the cheap and poor and poor. So if you are addressing this kind of word, there is no human rights, there is no workers' rights, there will be not decent working condition. This is the global problem which is created by the global people and global business community as well as the legislation. So that needs to be addressed, how people have to get the decent working condition and decent working condition, uh, living condition, because that is very needed too for us. In many cases, the Bangladeshi and other countries, the business people are so powerful in the parliament, in the government, also they are highly educated. That is the problem we face. The politics is always favored for the big business. So capitalism and globalization is a big bad impact for the general people and working people. So how we have to get the equal rights and we have to be thinking about the respect and dignity, not only the profit and profit, because capitalism has only two agenda. One is profit, another is control. So they have both and we are hungry. So we need to stop the hunger and we need to be decent and ensure the nutrition. She goes on to elaborate on the specific challenges she faced in her work and the kind of disputes she has observed. As you know, the workers has main fundamental right to collective bargaining right to negotiation and the union rights which is very challenging and difficult for us because when the workers are organized the union most of the case they are finding the union busting from the management as well as the local politician and local people and their fear they are giving threat they are beaten they are giving the different type of pressure and abuse and also they are filing a false case and this is very difficult to organize and as a activist and leader we are also face same problem also because many cases as i told before the manufacturer are very powerful and the, they are also very much involved in the parliament and the power 
so that kind of difficulties you are facing and many cases lots of difficult and challenges when workers are facing they are also shifted to uh, work to countryside again because it's very threatened for their life so these are the challenges we need to be ensure and corruption is one of the big problem and government is not serious about the workers issues than the business profit so we want better relationship and workers management dialogue in same platform it will be helpful for the productivity as well as the workers happiness so it may begin the sustainable development goal achieve without one part only the manufacturer are taking their own decision and own things it will not work because the manufacturer always wanted to be their life is a maxi maximum things but when we are asking for the workers benefit that is always minimum things so how we have to get the maximum and how we to get the big gap between poor and rich the rana plaza incident where over 1,100 workers died when their factory collapsed, resulted in many initiatives both within Bangladesh and abroad, and money poured in from many sectors. When I asked her what she thought of those initiatives, she was skeptical. She also had high expectations from the meeting of the Sustainability Compact held in Bangladesh in 2016. The compact was an agreement signed between the governments of Bangladesh, the EU and the US following the Rana Plaza collapse in an effort to improve working conditions in the Bangladesh textile sector. After Rana Plaza collapse, lots of initiative taken by Bangladesh and all of all the world people. There is so many meetings, so many seminars, so many things are doing and so many funded and support we got, but the real change and real effort was not done. Many cases, we found many results is not that much. So our request, the money should be utilized the right person, workers as well as the industry. But many cases is not working. Many cases found it's like eyewash or trying to be used for misuse. As you know, the Third Compact Sustainability Meeting will be held on 28th of January, Dhaka, Bangladesh. Our aspecting to the Compact Meeting to Bangladesh Government and European and American delegates. The, already you know the Sustainable Development Goal. There is 17 goal. The goal number 8 is a decent work. So we wanted to do decent work addressing and how to implement. And we want to living with, we want freedom of association and fundamental right and we wanted to be workers management better relation and people are very poor want to better living condition as well as safety issues. When I asked her about how to improve worker employer relations she had important insights about how to build relationships that benefit both parties. If we really want to functionable workers management relation that is that part we need to educate it all of them and also we need to create it the workers management relation culture because that is the big problem and management need to be positive thinking and positive way to accept the issues because always they are thinking we are in best we we are not listening anyone the workers has to be listened so that type of culture and motivation also need as the global supply chain the buyer has also responsibility to ensure this kind of things but many cases we found they are absent so everybody need to be work together as a workers representative we need the constructive union and also management has to be constructive as well as the buyer so and government should be support all of them i think this way we can overcome otherwise one party take initiative will not work. She ends with a strong message to the new generation in the West, the current and future consumers of textiles, who will play an important role in determining the future of global supply patterns. As you know, most of the goods are producing by the young boys and girls, and that is the 
important issue because they don't get proper education and proper food and nutrition. That is why they need to be voluntarily early retirements because of the malnutrition and highly production pressure. My request to all the young consumer who will be the next generation leader or taking the responsibility, you have to be respect your young friend and colleague who are working in Bangladesh to how to ensure their betterment of their life and workplace safety and other issues because young generation can take the, all the initiative because you are the consumer and you are the right people. So please try to be ensured and buy carefully to safe working condition and decent living condition.